Hi there, I'm Brian Conway from AchieveSuccess.co.uk and welcome to this video which is going to focus on lead generation. And this video and subsequent videos I'm going to release over the coming weeks are going to focus on ways in which you can improve not only the quantity of leads that you generate for your business but also the quality of those leads which is just as important. Now the first video today is going to focus on the front end of your marketing funnel with regards to when you pay for advertising of some sort and you generate some kind of traffic, where do you send that and how do you capture that information most effectively uh, to primarily increase the performance of your paid advertising. So you're actually starting to generate a positive ROI from all the marketing that you actually put in place. Now typically what will happen is that you will run an advert, okay, that may be in print, it may be um, via some kind of digital service, so it may be through Google AdWords or Facebook or LinkedIn, etc. And we will drive that traffic to some form of web page. Now, golden rule number one, do not drive them to your home page. Right? That will make this advertising spender over here totally wasted. If you've ever worked with a Google AdWords agency or whatever, and you've run traffic to uh, your home page in particular, then you've probably found that it was very ineffective and you wasted a lot of money per click and overall in the whole campaign and uh, saw very little return for it. So first of all, do not drive to your home page. Probably not even worth driving to a category page on your website. So if you were selling wireless LAN technology, for example, then don't just send them to the forward slash wireless LAN page uh, where you've kind of got just some generic information. Send them to a landing page. Right? This is a dedicated page where you want this traffic to land. This landing page should do two things. First of all, um, it should provide an offer. Right? So you should be selling some kind of offer, something that's going to compel somebody to take action. Now the offer might be to download your wireless LAN installation guide that will help you save 20% on your annual uh, in fees or investment or costs with regards to your infrastructure, you know, so it will appeal to an IT buyer perhaps with regards to helping them manage their IT budget more effectively. Or it could be a, an offer um, for information or the registration to actually get a huge discount on something that, to, that you sell. All right? So first of all, it's going to be for an offer, not just gener generic information. And, um, and the second part of that should be to capture an email address. Now, one of the things I see done very poorly with a lot of businesses when they put these pages, these landing pages together, assuming it's not the home page, is they will have the page and on here will be a huge contact form that asks for the name, their email address, their company name, their contact phone number. Wow, what's going to happen if I put that in? I'm just going to get inundated probably with sales calls and somebody trying to pitch me right? and maybe some further information about the business. It's all too much. You need to get rid of all of that and just ask for the minimum amount of data that will allow you to follow up with that individual. You see, selling is all about people. People will say to me, uh, you know, a B2B type business or a B2C type business. Well, at the end of the day, we're all in H to H type businesses. That's humans to humans. People buy from people. That's an old adage that uh, we always talk about in sales. But more importantly, people, people buy from people that they know, they like, and they trust. Now, at this point, they may not even know you, let alone like you or even trust you. Right? So you're not going to get all that information. It would be like um, walking into a bar and looking across the bar and seeing somebody perhaps that uh, kind of catches your eye and they give you that look back and you think, oh, I'll go over and say hello. And when you go over, you say, hi there, you know, I'm Brian. Wondered if you'd be interested in getting married. No. <laughs> be a bit weird, wouldn't it? You'd never do that. Yet we're almost asking for this major commitment here from the get-go in our advertising, and it's just way too much. We've got to go step by step. We've got to build it up like a relationship would be built up step by step. So if we met the person in the bar, at the end of the night, we wouldn't ask him to marry us or even come back with us. It'd be way too soon. We might ask for another date, but even that could be quite risky. You know, they may not be 100% sure yet whether they'd like to go out and meet you again. There are a lot of weirdos about, after all. Um, but not suggesting you are, excuse me. <laughs> but they could 
uh, or would potentially just give you their phone numbers. You might say, well, listen, I've had a lovely evening. Why don't you give me your phone number and I'll call you sometime and we'll just have a chat and continue the conversation and the relationship. And you go steady, it's low risk. So you go, oh, okay, if it's just a phone call, uh, you know, I'm not making too much of a commitment at this point. So if we just grab an email address here, then we have the opportunity to follow them up. Right? Now, once we've got their email address, let's assume they'd uh, requested some additional information about data centers or land networking or whatever it might be. Right? We could potentially, once they submit that, take them to a page that gives them that information. Okay? But there is a way we can improve the engagement with that information. Now, quite often people will get that, they'll download it, never ever read it. Right? They took this step now and they kind of get busy with other things. And quite often we just leave it at that. Right? So what you'd be better to do is actually not send them straight to the info, but actually put them into what we call a click sequence. And now a click sequence is a series of emails that drive them to that information. So we send them an email and say, hi, uh, you're interested in this bios guide on wireless LAN networking. Um, click here, immediate download, and uh, the information is yours. And, and, and obviously now what you've done is you've engaged them in the process. Just taking them here kind of makes it easy. If they've had to get an email and now click a link, there's kind of, there's a commitment, there's a, they've taken some kind of action. And psychologically, that significantly increases the chances of them actually not only downloading this, but actually opening it and looking at it. Now, the thing is, they might, in the first email, download it. They may not, you know, if we get lots of emails, and by the end of the day, the email that you saw at the top about the information has slipped off the first page, and you forget all about it. So we follow them up over a series of emails, over a number of days perhaps, to say, hey, did you get this information? Did you get this information? And obviously you don't want to bug them, so in your marketing email marketing system, you can tag people um, to take them out of lists if they've downloaded it and all that sort of stuff. And you can be very clever now with the email automation. And if you don't know anything about this, again, just follow me through these videos um, or go to my website and start to download some additional information on, on how to do this because we can then take them off. So if they download it the first time, we don't want to keep saying, why don't you go and download it? Go, oh, I've downloaded it. Yeah, but why don't you go and download it? Yeah, but I have downloaded it. You'd annoy them. What you need to do is put them into a follow-up sequence once they've downloaded it um, that says, hey, I see you've downloaded it. Do you have any questions? Can I help, etc." So it'd be a different conversation. So you need to be able to do this. And with email automation today, you can automate all of this. So not creating a lot of work, extra work, we're automating the process of follow-up. But each little micro step that we take somebody through significantly increases their engagement with the process and therefore the quality of them as a lead to you and your business. Now, if we get through this sequence, we don't continue forever in a day, all right? We might follow up sometime later and say, you know, a month later and say, I still see you didn't actually download it. Well, that would be uh, acceptable. But what's better is to put them into a, a different um, follow-up sequence now, which we call indoctrination. So one of the reasons they may not have bothered to download this is at the end of the day, even if they responded to your advert, they still don't know you that well, haven't gotten to like you that much, still unsure about whether you're trustworthy. So we then indoctrinate them. We start to provide some additional value free of charge that actually warms them up to us. They get to know us a little bit more. But I'll talk about more about that in the next video. But first steps first, if you drive traffic, drive to a landing page, grab the minimum amount of information you can at that point. We want to lower that barrier of entry as much as possible, de-risk the engagement as much as we can, and follow up with uh, emails and content to educate them and get them to know us, like us, and trust us a little bit. Okay? So that's the first step. So for if any other activities in your marketing and, and lead generation, look at your adverts, does it drive them to a landing page, does it make a compelling offer for them to take action? And secondly, what's the minimum amount of information we could gather? And then the last step is to start building some automation. And I'm going to teach that over subsequent videos. So if you uh, found that useful, please 
leave a comment, uh, depending wherever you're watching this video, please leave a comment or ask me a question. I'd really love to uh, help you personally. And um, if you want some more information, obviously you can go to achievesuccess.co.uk. There may well be a link below this video somewhere. And there is some additional guides and information that will teach you how to build and architect a marketing campaign from scratch that will help you not only increase, as I said, the number of the leads, but the quality of those leads as well, which will make any marketing and advertising that you actually do significantly more profitable. You wanna be able to spend a dollar and get $2 back. All right, so, or more, hopefully, but you kind of get the idea. You wanna be able to uh, generate a return on that investment. So this is what this is all about. There's no point paying advertising if it doesn't generate sales for you at the end of the day, all right? That's what it's all about, all right? I know working with a lot of social media companies and all that sort of stuff and PR companies, yes, you get some nice presence in the market. That's important too, but at the end of the day, my goal is you spend a penny and you get more than your penny back. Uh, and that's what this is all about. So go and look at what you're doing currently, evaluate whether this uh, is uh, broken in your situation and join me in another video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again and we'll develop and build this campaign and uh, marketing and lead generation funnel for you and your business. I'm Brian Conway, bye-bye for now.